you are watching Stick and Draw Down. This is episode number eight. And oh my goodness, my name is Novia Ning, and I am here to guide you through this podcast, which is absolutely jam-packed full of awesome stuff here today. Um, this is because we couldn't give you any episode last week, so we decided to make this one extra, extra, extra awesome. Today on our show, we have my phase, which we have looking... We have us looking at the Mighty Boosh. We have checking out one of my favorite comedians, Stephen K. Amos and Boredom Busters. And of course, we have our very, very first feedback segment because you people are sending us emails and comments. Oh yeah, it's all good. Now, today on the show, of course, we have What's Up first off right now. Forget <laughs> about the fly in the soup. How about a waiter in your ice cream? That's right. Um, waiter, there's a waiter in my ice cream. But he couldn't have said that because he was at home. Raymond Burns found a giant waiter inside his tub of ice cream. I'm sorry, what? Tip top? What the hell? Anyway, they said that you, they have no control over the ice cream tubs once they leave the factory. And that they can be tampered with. And that could be, like, explaining how the waiter got inside. What? Why don't you know how, what happens to your ice cream? It's your ice cream, your product. Now no one's going to eat Tip Top ever. Ever again. Both and emo music are to be banned in Russia. That's right, a giant ass country has decided to ban one of the biggest genres of today's music scene. The draft bill to make goth and emo music illegal in Russia stated that it was a dangerous teen trend. Obviously referring to the bad rap that both goth and emos have gotten over the last couple of years. Well, let me share some news with you. Would you believe that my favorite band of all time is My Chemical Romance? That's right. And the only thing I'm in danger of is spending too much money on them. Concert tickets, t-shirts, various other merchandise, but not CDs so my sister buys those. Thanks, Jeannie. Salula does the hula in Hawaii. Brum, brum, brum. I'm pretty sure that's not a Hawaiian song. But did you know that name is not of a child's book or a new movie? No. It's the name of a child. Why would you call your kid that name? Why? Why? Personally, I wouldn't want to name with a verb in it. Thank you, parents, for not <laughs> calling me <laughs> Novia likes to ride a bike or something like that. Earlier this week, the child in question was put into the care of the state because judge ruled that the parents, by giving the child this abstract and obviously weird name, were abusing it. Why would you call your kid that? Check out this URL for more weird names. By the way, all the sites featured on today's show are available in the show notes down there. If you're watching it on secondrawdown.com, and if you aren't, just watch on secondrawdown.com anyway. Check out the weird. If you want to check out some really awesome pics and about some kind of weird things, you want to check out this URL for weird cars, this one for amazing high speed photography, and this one for amazing shadow creations. I must say, photography and like all this weird arty kind of like designy stuff is really cool. So, yeah. the winter blues need a laugh well check out one of my favorite comedians Stephen K Amos you can check him out here at the YouTube link which we will be able to find which you'll be able to find in the show notes in this video video he is performing at the Royal Variety Show so funny check it out bottom bottom buster. You want to know back then he was a 65 year old pedophile <laughs> it was a different time now kids today, they're relying on the TV set, on the computers. It's all about MySpace! MySpace! <laughs> Facebook! <laughs> Facebook! <laughs> Turn the page! Turn the page! <laughs> We've lost the art of communicating with each other, with real people. That's what reality is all about. It's us! The beauty of meeting a stranger for the first time. Sparks fly. This is life. Look around this room. There are people here from different ages, different cultures, and we're all enjoying this together. That, folks, is reality. You can't fix that on TV. This, living in the moment, is where we're at. Yes, do you believe me? Yes. I can't hear you. Do you believe me? Yes. Did you hear that? That was real. <laughs> I didn't just make that up. Basically, young kids today have gnarled arthritic hands because they keep texting. <laughs> and apparently they're getting bullied via text. Have you heard this? Bullied! <laughs> what am I gonna do? 
Here's something you can do. Delete. <laughs> yeah. Would you believe it? We're reviewing yet another TV show that is airing on New Zealand C4 at the moment, and that is The Mighty Boosh. Quick rundown of the show, the main characters are the fan loving Vince Noir and the jazz loving Howard Moon. Um, they used to work in a zoo. Then they did some other random stuff. I missed this season because I wasn't watching the show. Anyway, and now they are back again running the booze nickname shop called the Boutique. To be honest, I can't really tell you what the Mighty Boosh is about because it's really random and it's all stuff happens and blah blah blah. Anyway, must say that it requires a certain sense of humour to really appreciate it. For example, um, about the storylines. Last week, Vince, in an act of punk rebellion, ate Howard's very important and expensive jazz scat record and became infected with a curse. So Howard had to be shrunk down to molecular size as the other jazz character in order to defeat the evil curse and save Vince from death. If you live in New Zealand, you can catch it at 10 p.m. on Monday nights on C4. And if you don't, I'm sure you'll be able to download it from iTunes because it's awesome. And if you're even luckier, you could go watch the show live if you live in like England or somewhere. Because you're lucky. And we're not. We have two new responses to our question. Our would you rather question that is. Would you rather be a geek at school and be famous on YouTube? Or popular at school and never achieve fame whatsoever. So our sponsors, one from Eudocia and one from Dan, said that they would both rather be famous on YouTube. So do we. Keep your sponsors coming in. Next week on our show, we will have a new and improved question and be asking ball attendees what they would rather do, have, be, etc. We'll choose a good verb to put in there. Welcome, people, to our very, very first <laughs> feedback segment. Okay. <laughs> we would like to say thank you and hi to all of our amazing viewers at the moment, including all of, the, all of those who have sent in responses for Would You Rather and just general hi emails. One such person is Kathy, who is writing from the UK. Oh, my gosh. Kathy is on holiday at the moment and found second draw down through a friend, Chelsea Holder, who we know. So, anyway, to answer your query, Kathy, all the cast and crew are year 13, and we will be bringing you images of the Botany Down Secondary College's board next week on the show, hopefully. And we'll even try to get some footage of Bex all dressed up just for you. Okay, next story. Speaking of Bex... We got a little message from her as well. She and a couple of her friends are going to Costa Rica at the end of the year as part of the International Student Volunteers thingy thing. Which sounds like a great opportunity, by the way. And we might check in with them a bit later on in the year. So Bex and friends will be kept contacting you, contacting you about that, so even get an interview with you. Okay, at SSD, I mean SDD, SSD, huh. SDD. Crew, the second draw down crew, want to say hi to the user who has commented most on our YouTube vids, and that is this guy, Josh. Awesome, Josh. Thanks. See you at school on Monday. And we want to say hi to an even, oh, we want to say an even bigger hi to all the YouTube users or YouTube ooers who we don't know us personally and watch our videos anyway. We truly appreciate all the eight comments you've given us. Thanks to Audrey for her awesome idea about the banners, and we just want to say thanks for the support. If you want to check out the banners, and we've got photos and banners of us at the crew and <laughs> the cast at this link here. Um, Audrey, if you want to take a banner from there, go ahead. Fully do it. Do it now. Thank you. Anyway, if you would like to email us, if you would like to contact us in any way whatsoever, you can do so by commenting us on the YouTube, the secondrawdown.com homepage, or send us an email at feedback at secondrawdown.com. Um, you can do things like birthday shoutouts if you wanted to, I don't know, any sort of general notices you want to put in here. We will be your public service announcer. We will even do things about um, safe sex if you wanted us to, because, I don't know, you caught some disease of some dirty girl. Oh boy! Depending on where you live at the moment, it's either summer, lucky, yeah. Anyway, or winter. Here right now, it's winter because it's raining and it's 
yeah, it's kind of sucks. But there's also another season, a second mysterious season called the Ball Season. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. And it is one of the biggest highlights of my high school calendar. Um, we will be bringing you all of the beautifulness of the ball next week, hopefully, if it all carries out as it should do. I'm Novia Ning. Damn it. <laughs> okay.